On this episode, we're making delicious Tum Yum soup with a very special ingredient. You're going to want to stick around. Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining us. Here in Hawaii, the number one game fish is the mighty ulua. Fishermen put in long hours, spend hundreds of dollars on tackle, and a lot of patience going after these fish. And that's just another reason why we should try to utilize every part of this fish. Today, I would like to share with you my favorite recipe that will use a part of this fish often discarded. So let's get the poles casted in hopes on catching the big one. Let's go! Ho! And we caught a big one indeed! We got lucky and caught this big ulua last night. And I also got lucky to have a good friend allow me to clean this beast of a fish at his fish market. And look at the size of this fish. Our friends and family are going to be so happy when we drop them off some fresh fish. Now let's clean the fish. I'll start by scaling the alua. We'll cut these beautiful fillets right off the bone. The bones and organs will also be eaten. Stay tuned for a future episode. Now we'll take the skin off the fillets. This is gonna be delicious. Now for the inspiration of this episode, the Ulua jaw. And it's hard to get, but worth it. You're gonna need a cleaver and a mallet. Thank goodness I got these bradas here to help me. Oh, and these bradas did a great job. Mahalo. Let's bag all the pieces of fish up and put them on ice. Let's give some fish to the brothers and my friend for letting me clean the ulua at the fish market. Ho, oh, and we still got a lot of fish to share. And we're not done yet. Those brothers did such a great job cutting the ulua jaw out for me. Let's also surprise them with a local favorite plate lunch. Ho, oh, I don't know if my mouth is watering because of the hot plate lunch, or me just thinking of the fresh fish we're about oh, to enjoy. Oh my gosh, brother. That's for you guys, man. That's for you guys. Thank okay. You. okay, thank you so much. Thank you, guys. You guys are good, but thank you thank so you. much, yeah? Yeah. Thank you. Okay, thank you. See you. And what will you do with the Ulua tail, might you ask? Well, you can make a souvenir out of them. Simply nail them or tie them up in the shade to dry. When dried, you can show all your friends and see who caught the biggest. Alright guys, we're back at home. And we are hungry. Some of the more common ways to eat ulua is sashimi, which is raw and served with shoyu and wasabi. Another delicious way is to cut in the chunks and fry. Whoo! Best served with hot rice and warm company. But this episode is going to focus on a less common way to eat ulua. More in particular, the ulua jaw. And with that, we're going to make delicious tum yum, which is a spicy and sour soup originating from Thailand. Let's get started. But first, let's make non prik pao, a Thai chili paste, a flavor boosting condiment that we'll use in our ulua jaw tum yum. In a pot that is being heated, let's add oil. Next, we got six garlic cloves and half a large onion. Give them both a good chopping and let's add it to our pot. Let's saute this on medium heat until translucent. Don't you just love the smell of cooking garlic and onions? Next, we have little green dried bird's eye chilies. Very hot, very delicious. We also have spur chilies, mild and full of flavor. Let's give them both a rough snip with a pair of scissors. Both these peppers were found at my favorite local Asian store. If you're unable to find these particular ones, any hot and mild dry chilies will do. Depending on how spicy you like it, you can remove the seeds. We like it spicy, so we're keeping them. Let's check how our garlic and onions are doing. Oh, they're doing great. It's almost ready. Now we have fresh tamarind. Tamarind is a sweet and sour fruit. It will add tanginess to our tum yum soup. Each seed pod skin has to be removed. If you can't find fresh tamarind, tamarind paste will do. We'll set our peeled tamarind to the side. Our garlic and onions are now translucent. Let's go. Delicious salted shrimps. Add one tablespoon of that goodness. Stir and continue to cook. Mm -mm -mm, that smells great. If you don't have salted shrimps, you can use dried shrimps. Next up, let's add our dried chilies. Give that a good stir and cook on medium heat. 
10 minutes of cooking, we're ready for our next ingredient. Next up, we got some of that sweet brown sugar. Two tablespoons of brown sugar. Give it a good mix and cook for 10 more minutes. 10 minutes is done and this is what you're looking for. A nice caramely goodness. And hold, oh, does this smell good. Now transfer this delicious concoction into a small bowl. From the bowl, let's put it in a blender. And yes, this blender gets plenty of use. Blend this mixture while adding oil. You're looking for a paste consistency. Do it how you like it. I like mine a little chunky. Now transfer into a small container. And there we have it, Nam Prik Pao, a Thai chili paste, a versatile staple in Thai cuisine. It's a thick, savory, sweet, and spicy relish. We're gonna need it for our Ulua Jaw Tum Yum soup. You're gonna wanna stick around. All right, now back to making tum yum. In the same pot that we cooked our nam prik pao, I'll deglaze the pan with some fish stock. This is one cup of frozen homemade fish stock. Now I'm gonna add about four cups of water. If you don't have any stock on hand, just use water. And now look at the color and the flavors that are coming off this pan that we're deglazing. Whoo! Let's simmer the water and add the tamarind. Yeah, that's real nice. Next up, I got head on shrimp that I got from the fish market. It's very important to get the shrimp with the heads on for this dish. The heads and the shells will make the tum yum have a delicious broth. I'll use about eight shrimp for this dish. Now I'm gonna peel the shrimp and put the heads and shells on the side. All right, now that we're all peeled up, let's add the head and the shells to the pot. Everybody into the pool. This is gonna make a great tasting broth. What I'm doing now is butterflying and deveining the shrimp. Next, we got galungal, very similar looking to ginger root, but galungal has this citrusy, piney flavor that is amazing. Let's chop a healthy amount and let's add it to our pot. Our broth is looking rich and delicious. We're almost done. And these are kaffir lime leaves. I always have them on hand. I keep them in the freezer. They will add a fresh, citrusy flavor. Next, we got lemongrass. Now cut the lemongrass stalks into strips and now add it to the pot. Lemongrass is very aromatic. Stir and let steep and cook for 30 minutes. 30 minutes is done. Now look how rich and gorgeous that broth looks. And it smells so good. All right, the broth is done. Now I'll use a strainer to strain the broth. Everything that got strained is no longer needed and we'll dispose of it. And now we're left with this gorgeous looking broth. And now for the star of the show, the jaw of the mighty Ulua. And look at that jaw. These big muscular jaws is one of the reasons why these fish are the king of the reef. They use these powerful jaws to eat a variety of prey from other fish to eels, lobster, crabs, octopus, birds, you name it. The only thing that can match them is a tiger shark. All right, let's get started. I'm gonna remove the Ulua's tongue off camera. The tongue itself isn't edible, but the muscle underneath is. I will cut the muscle away from the tongue. This muscle is very delicious. And this is what you're looking for. Wash and place on the side. And now the Ulua jaw is cleaned and ready. Now let's put the Ulua jaw into our simmering broth. Wow, would you look at that? This is gonna be great. Let's cover the pot and cook for 10 minutes. While that's cooking, I just remembered, we caught a few akule the day before. These akule, or big eye scad, are delicious eating and make awesome bait for the alua. I'll go ahead and clean these now so we can enjoy them for tomorrow's dinner. And what do you know? We are gifted with some fresh fish eggs. Mm-mm-mm. Let's place those eggs on the side and check how our soup is doing. Oh, and our soup is doing. It is looking and smelling great. Thank you everybody for sticking with us this far. And no, this isn't some sick joke. This is actually one of my favorite soups to make. And we are almost done here. Now transfer the cooked Ulua jaw into a large bowl. We'll set this aside to cool. Next up, we have some mushrooms. You can add any mushroom of your choice. We'll also add a few more fresh galungal and kaffir lime leaves and add them to the pot. Let's not forget the bonus. Let's add the akuli eggs. 
Next, we'll add a generous amount of fish sauce. And at this point, we'll turn off the heat and add our shrimp. And this is what we've been waiting for. The cooked ulua jaw is now cool to the touch. We'll simply remove the bones and place them on the side. And look at the meat, it's simply falling off the bone. Now we have our meat and bone separated. Let's cut the meat into smaller pieces and add it to our pot. And this is the reason why we love to eat ulua jaw. It's because it contains a lot of collagen and connective tissue. The gelatinous collagen has a delectable, soft, squishy texture. And it really adds a great mouthfeel to this dish. And it's the same reason why ox tail is so delicious. People will sometimes ask, how come you don't have any wrinkles on your face? And I tell them, it's because we love to eat collagen. And if you're interested in another beauty secret, you are gonna wanna check out this video. Not only is there a lot of collagen, there's a lot of good pieces of meat on that jaw. And look at that delicious chunk. Everything is being placed back into the pot. And remember our non-prick pow? We're gonna add two heaping spoonfuls to the soup. Next, we have the juice of a whole fresh lime. And now for the herbs. We have fresh cilantro and Thai basil. And this beautiful green onion. Give it a chop and add it to the pot. All right guys, that's it. We are done. It's time to eat. Wow, look how delicious this soup is. I have a hungry wife on the way home from work. I better hurry up and get this served. And here we are, Ulua Jaw Tum Yum Soup. They're savory pieces of fish, delicious gelatinous collagen, plump juicy shrimp, and don't forget the tasty fish eggs. And how does this soup taste? Well, it's spicy, sour, salty, sweet, and also satisfying. And it's best served with some steamed hot rice. Don't mind me, I'm going in for seconds. But wait, what should we do with all this ulua jawbone? I know, let's make a trophy. Place the bones in a bucket with water to cover. Then you're gonna wanna add a little Clorox bleach and let that soak for two days. After two days, it will look like this. Drain and collect the jaw bones. Remove any pieces of meat that might be attached. Place the jaw bones outside to dry for at least two weeks. And after two weeks, it'll look like this. Let's set the correct anatomical position prior to gluing. By adding a little duct tape, that will help us set the alignment. Next, you wanna mix up some clear drying epoxy. Give that a good mix. And now, start gluing. I'll begin with the bottom jaw first. Then I'll move on to the top jaw. Again, first set the alignment. And then, start gluing. I'll let the resin fully harden overnight. We're almost done, stay with us. We're gonna start making dinner now, so we'll see you guys tomorrow. Aloha. We're back the next day and our resin is fully dried. All there is to do now is glue the bottom jaw to the top jaw. We'll set the alignment something like this. And again, we'll glue the pieces together and we'll let it cure overnight. And here we are everybody, we're finally done. The ulua jaw turned out great. The resin is now fully hardened. Your ulua jaw trophy slash artwork is now ready to be displayed. Thank you for joining us everybody. We look forward to seeing you next time. Aloha.